In the last video, we managed to finish off Song of the Elves and become one of the first people to enter Priftinus. And in this video, we're going to try and get the Bow Ferdinheinen and Full Crystal. Let's get right into it. Sigil, because it's going to let... I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it should let me get double resources so I can Tier 3 prep incredibly easily in the Gauntlet. Okay, this is insane. Sigil of the Forester does give double resources for... I guess this doesn't count as farming. That's kind of surprising. But for mining and woodcutting, it gives double resources. So I can tier three prep as long as I find enough, enough linum. Also, it works for paddlefish as well. So my KCs are going to be really fast. Oh, a weapon seed already. KC number two. Wow. <laughs> Could be an armor seed, but that's a good sign. These are probably going to come in very fast. All right, and I forgot to make a clip, but I bought another sigil, Sigil of Pious Protection. I think it was like 150k, but I think this was intended for PKing. It's going to make you take less damage when you're praying correctly, but more damage by 40% when you're praying the wrong way. So if I miss a prey in here, I'm probably going to get hit like a 60 or something, but I should be able to get the KCs very easily. So the sigil should be really good for Gauntlet. Okay, well, just finished off 10kc. I think I'm actually going to leave this bracket. I'm thinking of going to the next one because the kills are still really slow. Um, and I think it should be pretty safe here. But before I do that, I'm actually going to go to Zolra in this bracket and see if I can't get lucky. Not sure how the kills are going to go, though. Okay, and after doing two kills, these are way too slow. I'm using way too many supplies. So I think I'm just going to max. And with this method, I still should be safe um, killing Zolra, even in the max worlds. So... Gonna work on max. It's gonna be very expensive though because I think I'm gonna be alking and doing cannon while I train my strength. So we'll see how this goes. My protection, I decided that I'd do MA2. So I have this done now and then I have like 20 minutes left and I have a bunch of lava dragon bones that I'm gonna go use on the chaos altar. So hopefully we get a good prayer level from that. I can't unnote the bones in dead man mode. But still went 52 to 64, so I'll probably just get a Gilded Altar and then finish those off. Um, maybe in the next bracket or something like that. I'll probably get 70 in this bracket, but that's it. And I forgot to record the levels, but I just finished up 90 range, 92 mage. So I'm going to head back to the gauntlet. I also have 75 defense. So these kills should be way faster. I'm also going to be training in here, so should be getting some levels as well while making a lot of money. And about training in here, I didn't realize that you don't gain XP. So I'll probably end up getting like 95 range, 95 mage, maybe like low 80s defense, and then come back most likely. I'll do a, quite a bit of KC here first though. Oh, the first crystal armor seed. I think we need about six more of those, but nice to get that. 19 KC. I think the rate's like one out of 12. So we'll take that. For some reason, my recorder messed up, but I got the second armor seed on KC24. So we're pretty much right on drop rate so far. Okay, so ever since I got that emblem on my alt, I've been merching. I just sniped a DFS, even though I already have one. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a four mil flip. So I'm going to run up from multi in Falador and try and get this made for 1.25 mil at Oziac. And I should be able to make a lot of money off this. Get this visage. Yes, please. Oh my god. Dragon fire shield made. I should I should be able to flip this for like five mil profit right now. I'm not positive, but I'm gonna go put it in the GE and hope. Okay, so I just flipped this. I think I spent 9.75 in total, and I just made 12.5. So I think I'm gonna train 85 uh, smithing here, and then I can boost to 90 and just make a bunch of DFSs. And hopefully this can get me pretty much enough GP for max gear. Just finished off 85 smithing. So now with that relic that boosts my stats, I can turn my visage into a VLS. And I'm going to continue trying to buy them. I have an offer in for 8.5 right now. This might be a really good flip for me. So I'm going to keep flipping these and probably max my stats. Try and pick up rigor and augury overnight. And then grind CG as hard as possible. But I just bought another visage. For 8.5 mil. So I should be able to make another 4 mil right here, which is insane. 
Okay, and only a couple hours later, the DFS flipped for 4.5 mil profit, pretty much. This is absolutely insane. I'm probably going to fund most of my max gear if this keeps up. So I'm going to keep trying to flip these while grinding CG, and hopefully we can keep chipping away at this uh, Bofa. And I decided instead of going back to CG, I'm going to min-max. I can get 88 HP, 85 defense, 99, 77 prayer, 99 mage. So I'm going to get that done before going back to CG. I feel so vulnerable at 93 combat with the amount of risk in my bank that I have. Um, and you can't, you obviously can't mule. So I'm just risking like 30 to 40 mil DMM. So I'm going to min-max and make, oh, I forgot my shards, and make my crystal armor. Beautiful. All right, let's get to training. And this only took a couple of hours, but 99 range. Nice to get that done. Gonna move on and stun Alk all the way to 99 mage. And then probably get off for the night and finish 85 defense tomorrow and then go back to CG. Very long. I just bought the dexterous prayer scroll. I did not think I would even be able to get these this tournament because I thought clans were gonna hold them down. But that is absolutely massive. I'm really hoping that this buys overnight so that I can flip it into a DFS and make enough for the augury and just get them out of the way. But we'll have to see. Still gonna finish off this 99 mage though. Expect this, but I just insta bought an arcane for seven mil. I did I can't believe I got both of these so early. These CGs are gonna go by so fast. I still need to make a gilded altar and then train up to 77. But this is so nice. I have DFS and raids prayers although now the bank definitely needs some rebuilding i have everything on here right now it's not really 29 mil um but sending some cgs tomorrow yeah i just got pb first one by like 20 seconds oh no way. The first KC with Augury and Rigor. The CC is going to think I got it on my actual Iron Man. Oh my god. <laughs> it's dead man mode. Wow. I have both already. All I need is three armor seeds. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. All right. Had to train a couple of crafting levels, but I can finally make the Bofa. This is so cool. I did not expect to get so lucky on this. I guess it's a one out of a hundred. I got it on like 34 KC, but all we need is three armor seeds left and then I can move on. I don't even know what to do next. I didn't expect to start accomplishing things so fast, but I can also do the Inferno pretty soon, which is crazy. But Bo Friedenheim is achieved. And there we have 99 mage. Time to finish off defense and HP and we're done decided to buy the last two armor seeds off the GE. That way I can just make this and start working on desert treasure. I also purchased Sigil of the Guardian Angel for I think 4.5 mil. So I'm going to go finish off desert treasure Rex and then the quest and then also get Pity. Um, and then not too sure what I'll do after that. I think I might send some Inferno. What do we have here? Time to assert dominance. Telly, Telly. Oh, he didn't. I respect. Oh, <laughs> he did I'm such a dick. Poor man's just trying to do his quest. I'm sure you guys have seen this on a lot of other videos. I'm a bit late, but I'm about to complete Desert Treasure and then send to the Inferno. Unless I get trapdoor. Okay, good. That's not a trapdoor. And Desert Treasure completed. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm already on Ancients. Now I'm gonna go get geared for the Inferno and hopefully get that first try before I could do this. But there was a clan at the bank when I got here. Get me out. Oh my god, I can't teleport for another four seconds. That could have been so bad. Thankfully, there's no one here now. But yeah, now I'm going to send my Infernal Cape. So hopefully we get it first try. Not sure the optimal setup, but we're going to give it a go with this loadout. No blood spells, so I probably won't do this first try. But let's see how it goes. Oh my god, that was intense.
Okay, and I think we're good now. I don't know where I went so wrong on that wave, but that was something. 58, hopefully we can get the cape this run. Still looking all right on supplies, should be okay. Should be pretty safe to make it to Zuck. Unless something tragic happens at Jad's, which is definitely a possibility, but hopefully we can get it this run. I really don't want to have to do this again. This is It's going to be over two hours in the caves, so it would be really nice to just finish it off right here. And that wasn't too bad. On to Zuck. Oh, I'm not, never done a Zuck with a four tick weapon like this before, so not too sure how this is going to go. Oh my, first ranger down already. Bofa is absolutely ripping that thing. And that should be the Jad spawn, yep. This bow is actually melting Zuck so far. And it seems to be melting Jad. And that's Jad down. This bow is actually way better than I thought. Still really decent supplies too, we should be able to get it here. Unless healers go very wrong. Well, that just turned this run horrible. Oh my gosh. I have five doses of brew for healers. Oh no. Very not good. I cannot mess up this next set. If I miss a flick, I'm dead. No way, I just tanked a Zuck hit and two Ranger hits on 9 HP. I need to finish it here. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way I just tanked that. And that should be the final hit. There it is, Infernal Cape done. Okay, I need to focus and get out. Oh my. Okay, he's just splashing, thank God. All right, well, that is the Infernal Cape done on Deadman mode. I cannot believe I just got that. I tanked a Zuck hit and then two Ranger hits on below 15 HP. Um, but I think I'm going to end off this video there that we accomplished much more than I thought in this video. And I think in the next video, I'm going to go back to Corrupted Gauntlet and probably some Commander Ziliana. So I'll see you in the next video.